Deep in the beautiful Swiss Alps, where the tall snowy mountains touch the sky, people who love excitement and thrills enjoy the stunning views. But these gorgeous mountains can also be dangerous, as wingsuit pilot Johnny Strange found out in a really scary situation that felt like a scene from a crazy action movie. So, imagine this. Johnny, who's really good at flying in a wingsuit, wanted to have an exciting adventure in the Swiss Alps. He planned to fly through the mountains and show off his cool skills, but things went differently than planned. Johnny Strange told his father he could fly when he was four years old. Brian Strange remembered little Johnny jumping off the back of a couch and breaking his head, necessitating a trip to the hospital. Johnny's lifelong desire for motion, excitement, and adventure ended on October 1, 2015, when he tragically lost his life at the age of 23 in a wingsuit flying accident in the Swiss Alps. He most likely did it all. He skated, leaped out of choppers, and climbed mountains. Strange, also known as Daredevil, crashed while filming a wingsuit proximity video in the Swiss Alps. Wingsuit base jumping is a sport where a person flies through the air while wearing a wingsuit, which adds surface area to the human body with flaps of fabric between the arms and legs, creating lift. Wingsuit proximity is when the same person flying through the air in a wingsuit flies closer to objects such as trees, mountains, rocks, etc. The 23-year-old is the most recent victim of what is thought to be one of the deadliest extreme sports in the world. He crashed soon after jumping from Mount Gitschen in central Switzerland. He probably lost control mid-jump and died on impact with the ground, according to Yuri authorities in Switzerland. Police said he made the jump shortly after midday on Thursday, where there were strong winds on the mountain, adding that a further investigation would be launched. The average wingsuit jump lasts barely a minute, and within eight seconds the jumper reaches speeds of 200 kilometers per hour, 125 miles per hour. The films released by jumpers with GoPro cameras strapped to their heads are stomach-churning as there appears to be little room for control or error as they descend at extraordinary speeds often hurtling through narrow mountain passes. The Swiss Alps' rugged and diverse terrain contributes to their scenic beauty. Towering peaks, deep valleys, and glaciers create a stunning and dramatic landscape. Navigating mountainous terrain can be perilous. Steep slopes, crevasses, and unpredictable weather conditions challenge hikers, climbers, and skiers. While high altitudes provide breathtaking panoramic views and a sense of awe-inspiring vastness, but at the same time, altitude sickness can affect individuals who are not acclimated to higher elevations. Additionally, extreme altitudes increase the risk of hypothermia and other altitude-related illnesses. Before the tragedy, Strange had spent years as a somewhat famous adventurer, starting when he was just 12 and summited Antarctica's Mount Vincent Massif. It was the first of seven climbs that would culminate with Strange becoming the youngest person ever to reach the top of the so-called Seven Summits, the highest peaks on every continent. Following his record-breaking feat, Strange rocketed into the spotlight with appearances on Conan O'Brien, CNN, and CBS News. He's since traveled the world doing extreme sports, and even once base-jumped into the Grand Canyon, TMZ notes. At the age of 17, Johnny gained notoriety in 2009 when he became the youngest person to scale the highest peak on each continent, a feat collectively referred to as the Seven Summits. As the use of social media grew, Johnny developed an online following while attempting to use his passion for extreme sports to further causes near and dear to his heart. He climbed Mount Everest, Mount Kosciuszko, Mount Elbrus, Mount Kilimanjaro, Denali, and Aconcagua, reached the South Pole, and skydived into the North Pole. In September 2010, Strange was with a team of three others who base jumped into the Grand Canyon. Their planned exit path was blocked, and they were stranded without food or water. They survived two nights in the canyon before free climbing out. After completing his ascent of Mount Everest in 2009, Johnny made use of the publicity to raise money for Parkinson's disease research and to support the Genocide Intervention Network an activist organization. However, experts claim that with careful planning and skill, the risks can be minimized. In 2009, Mr. Strange, a 17-year-old from Malibu, California, 
made history by being the youngest person to climb the highest peaks on all seven continents. Donnie and Brian went to Bhutan a few years after climbing Everest in order to look into climbing Gangkar Puensum, the highest unclimbed mountain in the world. According to Brian, even though they were unable to summit the peak, they managed to become friendly with the royal family of the Himalayan nation. After being invited back for the king's wedding, Johnny arrived in Bhutan for six months and worked with the government to encourage youth participation in outdoor activities. That's why, according to Brian, it seemed like a natural fit to create skate parks in Malibu and Bhutan to honor Johnny. In Bhutan, Johnny liked to skate down mountain roads and occasionally give red-robed kids a quick handshake as he went by. The kids were fascinated, Brian stated. They'd never seen a skateboard before. The 2,513-meter, 8,245-feet-high Gitchen has become popular with extreme sports enthusiasts in recent years. Another American wingsuit flyer died on the same spot on the mountain on July 10. In this film, he and two colleagues, Dominic and Andreas Kaino, had to wait five hours for bad weather, including fog to pass before they could jump. The video, posted on social media, shows him flying frighteningly low over alpine peaks and pine forests before unfurling his parachute and giving a victory sign once on the ground. Hours earlier, Mr. Strange spoke to the Kevin and Bean show on US radio station K-Rock FM, saying, we're out climbing a mountain in Switzerland and we're base jumping off of it. It's just that the weather's not very good, so we'll have to climb most of it down because you can't jump in these conditions. I'm filming a new wingsuit proximity video that's sort of when we fly super close to stuff, and I'm coming back. It's pretty awesome. I love this stuff. With tributes pouring in on social media, American actor-producer Michael Felker said, heartbroken to hear Mr. Strange has left us today. He did more in 23 years than all of us will do in a lifetime. Besides Mr. Strange, the most prominent wingsuit-related casualty was the August in the year 2013 death of Mark Sutton. The British parachutist who was a stand-in stuntman for James Bond as he dropped into the opening ceremony at the London Olympics, along with a stunt double of the Queen. There are still glimpses into Johnny's exuberant life on his Instagram, along with condolences from friends and admirers who were shocked by his passing. In hindsight, Johnny's Instagram tribute to his friend Dean Potter, who perished in a wingsuit flying accident in Yosemite National Park in May 2015, is unsettling. Many thanks for the wingsuit advice, Johnny captioned the photo. I regret learning about your flying death. I'll see you over there. Strange was best known for daredevil and risky stunts. Wingsuit base jumping was one of them. Like base jumping, athletes leap from a mountain, ledges and buildings. But the difference is in the wingsuit, which allows such jumpers to extend their flight range and time. Rock climbers Dean Potter and Graham Hunt were wearing wingsuits when they leaped off Taft Point in Yosemite National Park in May and died. Park officials said their parachutes never deployed. The Swiss Alps are very beautiful, with tall mountains and pretty landscapes, but they can also be dangerous. People who want to explore there need to be careful and plan well. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to always be updated with the latest news as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in the next one.